What's up, everybody? Hey, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Good, good, good. Good morning, Winter Haven. I'm Charlie Reinecke. Here with our own BDTV. And now, here's your host. You may know him from BDTV or this year's Homecoming King, Liam Rucker. Thank you, Charlie. Welcome to the Men Morning Show. I'm your host, Liam Rucka, and today we have a special show. We've got Carpool Karaoke with our very own Lauren. And the lovely Miss Hatley. And L with Brock and Christina. You, I happen to like Brock and Christina. Let's get right to it. I'm gonna tell you right now that we are Winter Haven. Winter Haven, Florida, home of the devil. Other cities you can do it, we can do it better. Polk County finest, yeah, come and find us. Other schools running, yeah, you running right behind us. We on like a light switch. That was great, but not as great as our first guest. She's a Cambridge student and a star player. She's been playing soccer for over 10 years and has been on the girls' varsity team for four years. Let's please welcome Kayla Tuttle. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Of course, of course. So tell me, do you have any plans for college? Nothing official, but I have received many scholarships and college acceptances. Awesome, and have you reported all that to Ms. Bachman? Actually, I have. And did you know that the schools you don't plan on going to, you still need to report it to Mrs. Bachman? because she has to send a report to the superintendent by the end of the year. And have you happened to look at our new January scholarship bulletin that's out? Yes, I have, and I plan to apply to the Polk Education Foundation one. Oh, awesome. And that's open right now, but it does close on February 13th. Oh, yeah, and I was told to complete a FAFSA and an SAR, which are due to Ms. Bachman by February 14th, so be sure to do that. I plan to. Well, Kayla, it was great having you on the show today. Thank you. Thank you. And now to our very own Lauren, with our own version of Carpool Karaoke. Thanks for having me get to school this morning. Oh, you're so welcome. So as Winter Haven High School's music teacher, what is your favorite part about your job? I just enjoy music. Mm -hmm. And um, I enjoy, I have a passion for music, so I enjoy helping students find that passion as well. And as a music teacher, you've obviously listened to a bunch of music in your life. So yeah. what's some of your favorite songs? Um, well, I grew up in the 80s, so 80s music is my favorite. One of my top favorites from them would have to be Queen and Bohemian Rhapsody. I love that song. Should we listen to it? Oh, I would love to. Mama. Can you tell me about what made you want to start teaching music? I went there first as a nursing student. Music was kind of on the background. I was in high school chorus and did all state and did all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Starting my chemistry homework and thinking, oh my gosh, I hate this. So I enrolled in the music program and hadn't looked back since. Wow. Miss Hatley was a great guest to ask you on Carpool Karaoke, and so was our next guest. You could say she's always the star of the show, whether it's being on the dance floor to being on our very own Blue Devil Television. Please welcome Maddie Franz. Hey, it's wonderful to be here. Great to have you. So tell me, lately here on the show, I've seen you wearing a hat and scarf. Any reason why? Yes. Winter Haven High School is selling hats and scarves for $12 each, or you can buy two for $20, and you can pre-order them from Mrs. Sia. Oh, and you can also order a yearbook from Ms. Jaime in room 35223 before or after school. Yes, and I believe the price actually went up to $75 today. Awesome. Well, Maddie, it's been great to have you here on our show today. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. And I wonder what here at our school is L. Hi, I'm Brooke, and welcome to Ill. And I'm Christina, but that's because she knows out in H, because H's are ill. So ill. You know what else is ill? Ew, what? When guys do that thing and their boxers are showing and their pants are down. Ew, that's called sagging. Ew, that's so gross. Like, go get a belt. They should get a belt to match your lanyard. OMG, ew, that'd be so cute. But you know what would be even cuter? What? A cute selfie with our lanyards on. OMG, OMG, ew, Let's okay, okay. Pants. Are those holes in your pants? That's yeah. so ew. Well, you're showing your shoulders and that's ew -er. Well, let's review everything that's ill. All right. Holes and pants. Ill. Sagging. Double ill. No lanyard. Ill, ill, ill. 
showing shoulders. Super ew! We have a math test tomorrow. OMG, ew, don't remind me. Do you remember our dance from third grade, the good luck dance? OMG, yes. Let's do it for good luck tomorrow. OMG, OMG, right, oh, okay, okay. Good luck! Well, I'm tired. Me too. That's all we have for you today. Make sure to tune in next time on... Ew! Ew, that was like really nasty, right, Liam? So ew. Anyways, I think I've been running a bit behind today, so if you guys don't mind, I'd like to take a minute and write out my weekly congratulation cards. Charlie, can I get some writing music, please? No problem. Ready, band? Congratulations to orchestra students who participated in the orchestra solo and ensemble festival. They did amazing. Congrats to the HOSA members at the Future Health Professional Regional Competitive. Many of our students placed in every event. Way too good. And you know, Liam, Mr. Fritz, our drama teacher, really knows how to get our students all shook up. That's going to be our spring musical, All Shook Up. It's set in the 1950s based on Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. Auditions are next week, with singing auditions Monday and Tuesday, and acting auditions on Thursday and Friday. You must attend at least one singing audition and one acting audition. See Mr. Fritz for more information. Man, our Blue Devils are really challenging themselves. You couldn't be more right. Now let's see how Madeline challenges us with this SAT question. I'm Madeline with the SAT question. If Lauren drove 10 miles to school and her car gets 20 miles to the gallon with gas prices at $2.30 a gallon, how much money did she use? A, $23, B, $1.15, C, 23 cents, or D, $4.06. The answer is B. This is because Lauren is only using half a gallon, which means she would only be using $1.15. You would find this answer by dividing $2.30 by 2. I'm Madeline with the SAT question. Back to Liam and Charlie in the studio. Charlie, I bet my car uses more gas than that. My truck, too. Charlie, did you read a book for Literacy Week? Absolutely. I got one of the new books from our media center. They have many new books in the library, like The Good Neighbor by Maxwell King, written about Fred Rogers. Hey, maybe one of those books includes our Word of the Week. I'm Adam with the Word of the Week. The Word of the Week is multitude. Multitude is a large number. An example of multitude in a sentence is, a multitude of people attended the concert. A synonym of the word multitude is mass. I'm Adam, and I hope I expanded your vocabulary. Before we close today's show, don't forget about Pastas for Penny and Kelsey's Hope fundraisers. There's many prizes and rewards you can win. Well, that's all the time we have today. See you tomorrow on BDTV's Mid Morning Show. Charlie, take us away. Great show, Liam. Okay, BDTVs, let's hear it. <laughs>